Hi Love Zell and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to be talking about how to recreate a filter from Instagram that you guys absolutely love but do it in real life. So before we get started, hit the subscribe button, share this video with somebody you think might like it, and let's do it. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, same username, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Um, but recently I posted a uh, quick review of the new e.l.f. mascara and you guys love my makeup in that and it was me recreating this filter anyway so I thought I would do a video on it. This filter that we're talking about on Instagram is a very kind of minimalistic makeup look but it enhances features so I thought it'd be fun to show you how to do it. So you want to start with a hydrated skin. So I have all of my hydrating products on and a nice hydrating SPF because any kind of time that you're gonna be using foundation and quite a bit of layers like we are, you need some hydration in that skin. Um, and today's is not necessarily about the products, it's about how you apply them and the type of product. So now we're gonna be using a primer, which I normally don't use, but for this look, we're going to need to start with one. This is just a glowy, hydrating primer. You can use your Charlotte one, you can use any one that you would like. Elf has some great ones, all that good stuff. So we're gonna start with something called underpainting. It's absolutely not necessary for us to do underpainting, but in the way that this filter looks, it looks like they have basically put these layers and that's how you get the layered effect is by doing something called underpainting. It is all the rage over TikTok right now and Instagram, um, and it's been around forever. I mean, the technique I think I talked about, you know, on like the fourth year of my channel and I've been doing this 12 years. All right. So what we're first gonna do is we are going to start with some concealer and we're gonna be using two different colored concealers. This first one we're gonna put right here in the center of our eye. I'm gonna use it on the points of my skin that I need a little bit more coverage on. Then we are gonna take our lighter concealer and we're going to highlight the face in this area right here and on the tip of the eye. And this is definitely gonna be more our age friendly, so 40, 30s, 40s, 50s, um, so that it's going to look like the filter, but it's gonna be done for more of our uh, aging skin or I should say my aging skin. Um, in the filter, it is very heavily light lightened in the center of this in the center of the face so this whole section is very light so I have my concealer on I'm going to actually be using brushes to push this in I'm not going to be using any sponges and that's the reason being is because it just blends a lot nice more nicely when we're dealing with so many layers like this so what you want to do is you want to take this is just an elf brush you just want to take and blend out that concealer, the dark concealer first, or not dark, but your skin tone concealer first. I love this brush because it has this um, tiny little tip. And we're not doing the trend where we're putting a ton of concealer in this triangle area, but we definitely are focusing in that area of the skin to make that very light. I'm just gonna take whatever's left and kind of go around my nose. And then now we're going to buff out that lighter concealer. And I just use this big brush right here on the outside corner. And if this is too light, that's gonna be okay. When you underpaint, you want to be a little more aggressive with the difference in, in color. So if this concealer seems a little light for you, it's kind of what we want. This concealer is a little bit light for me. I'm just gonna take my um, Lawless brush, which is very similar to the Angie Hot and Flashy brush. Blend that in, tap, tap, tapping motions into the corner of the eye. See how light that is right through here? And you wanna bring that down into the nasal labial fold, whatever you have left on your brush, because what that's gonna do is that's going to pop that nasal labial fold out. 
and by you pushing this into the skin it'll look more like a second skin and then you just want to make sure that when you have done this concealer we're not going to be doing the concealer again so make sure you get in there and have it as light as you want it you absolutely could add it again at the end but um, you're trying not to do so many layers over this part of our face just because it's delicate and has a tendency to show more fine lines and these filters have a tendency to look a little blown out like this and that's kind of the point okay now i'm going to be taking just a cream bronzer this is just by milk and we're going to go in pretty heavy And we are we are gonna do our nose you do not have to do the nose part this can definitely be skipped if you do not want to do the nose part and then we're gonna go back in with our brush and we're gonna blend that in so we want this to be pretty dark because we are gonna go over it with foundation so you're gonna feel a little crazy in the beginning, but don't worry, you're kind of supposed to. And then the nose, brush down and into the brow. And then you can just take a little bit of your brush and blend that down. And again, because these filters have a tendency to always slim everyone's nose and enlarge everyone's lips and then I'm going to take whatever's left of my brush and pop that around my lips okay so it looks a little bit heavy and again I can't stress this enough it is supposed to be heavy just make sure around your hairline it's all blended in now take your favorite medium weight or lightweight a tinted moisturizer is not really going to do what you want here you need to have a foundation that has a little bit of coverage not you don't need a ton of coverage but some coverage and i am just going to go right back in with my brush i've just mixed in the back of my hand and you're going to go right over everything and i'm going to concentrate most of the product in the center of the face and then whatever's left on my brush, I will go to the perimeter. And it doesn't take very much foundation. And now for the eyes, I'm just going to take a cream eyeshadow. You want it to be very kind of taupey nude. And we're just adding a shadow in to the eyelid. It's not really eyeshadow. Of course, you can do this with a, a regular eyeshadow, so like a powder eyeshadow. But sometimes when you're going to be using a like more of a liquid eyeshadow, it looks more like your skin and more like the filter. Now, I have been going back and forth between the new Westman Atelier uh, pink powder. It's okay. I don't like love, love it. But what you want to do is you want to set underneath that eye in that triangle. And we'll set the rest of the face in a second, but you're, I don't want it to crease and move along or move anywhere. And pink will actually brighten up this area. You can, of course, use your hourglass powder as well. Now I'm going to go in with a nice dose of blush. This is the Charlotte bl 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 blush. And you guessed it, we're going to go back in with that brush. And we're just going to blend this in. And I like to do this in layers and you can pick your favorite cream blush but to make this look dewy you need to use a cream blush but this cream blush is matte so FYI I just love it I've been wearing it a lot lately I also did a first impressions on my Instagram with this one all right I probably will need a little bit more of that, but we'll play it by ear. We'll see. So now we're going to go in and we're going to set the face. I'm just using a translucent powder that has a more of a dewier finish. Now we're going to curl those lashes. 
I want you to really, really curl those lashes. And then you're gonna find your favorite mascara that separates those eyelashes really well and lengthens them. For me right now, it is the new e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara. The eyebrows on most of these filters are rather bold. So we are going to give our brows a really nice, nice brow shape. Okay, let's get to lips. Okay. So you're gonna overdraw your lips. And then you're gonna take a shimmery shadow. I'm just taking Dazzle from the, and Dreamer from the Norvina palette. And you're actually gonna put a little bit like this and a little bit like this. Bear with me, I swear. This is so beautiful. Lip is usually very nude. This is just a clear gloss. And then there you go. This is very filtered makeup. Okay, so to finish this off, you're gonna take a hydrating setting spray or just a hydrating spray. I'm just using the one from Osmosis. I mean, Lemieux. Give some life back to that powder. Do you see the glowiness right here? In those filters, it looks very blown out and glowy right here in that center. See how that spray just brought this life, this look to life? And there you go. There is filtered makeup in real life. You guys, it's so fun to do this. It does take quite a few extra steps than you would normally do for your everyday makeup. But if you're going to get results that look like this, I don't know. I'm, I really, really, really love doing my makeup this way. It's how I've been doing it for the past several weeks. Um, and I'm glad to bring it to you. So if you have any questions, go in the comment section. I'll try to get to you. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you can find me at L Leary Artistry. And I'll see you soon. Lots of love for me to you. Bye, loves.